Hibbity hobbity, how's it going YouTube? It's Ape Hawk and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to detect when the camera is upside down. Now, little shout out real quick to Winnie the Pooh, I mean Jenny the Woo. You got helped me a little bit on this method as I was trying to do it in a really complex way and that sucks. 3D math sucks. Anyway, let's get right into it. It's kind of an advanced tutorial. I want to say that at the start, it's kind of an advanced tutorial because you need to know how to access things from scripts, which will require a little bit of scripting knowledge. However, I will be providing the script in the description in a pastebin link. The first thing you need to do is click on your camera. Click on add component and then choose device tracking. You may have to scroll down a little bit or you can search it or click tracking and choose device tracking. On your tracking mode, click on where it says surface and it'll be like a little selector and choose rotation. Now you're done with that. We're going to click on the camera again if you just unselected it like I did. And we're going to add in an empty child object. Now we're going to name this pose tracker or something. Now you want to have this object selected and you're going to come over here to your Y value. Type in 25 for your Y value. It doesn't actually matter. As long as it's somewhere above like five, it will work pretty much the same. I like to just use 25 because it seemed like a pretty decent height and would put it up right above here on most phones. So pretty good um, place for it to be for how we're tracking, which I'll get into in a little bit. So that's really all we need to detect it. Honestly, you can detect it right now. However, I'm going to add one more thing just for our test. So you can actually see it working. So add a screen text in here. And that's that. Come down to your resources and add in a script. Let's also add in an empty object up here. Just sort of to put the script on that. You don't have to put it there. You put the script on anything really, but I'm going to put it right there and drag it from my resources into the inspector. So it adds it over there. Now, double click your script open the script editor. I'll give you a second to catch up here. Now we're going to import so at input scene object. We're going to call this, um, let's just call it T for tracker. We're going to add input component dot text. And we're going to call that TXT for text. The next thing we need to do is make a variable for upside down. So we're going to do upside. So down equals false. Then we need to add an update event so it's constantly checking. So var event equals script dot create event update event. Now bind that event, event dot bind. And we're going to do function event data, even though we're not using any event data. Now we're ready to type the actual logic behind this. So here's where I'm going to explain it to you. What we're doing here is we have our scene object, which is somewhere right about here. I can actually demonstrate it real quick with a sphere for you. So let's do that. So we have our tracker floating right there above the camera. Now this grid is world zero. And when we rotate the camera, it's rotating everything like so. So when the camera is upside down, our sphere world value is now below the world zero. Our local value is still going to be 27 or wherever it is, but we are, our world value is actually Y something in the negatives. So that's how we actually know when the camera is upside down. So let's code that out. Bar, we're going to call this T pose for the meme. Do script dot T dot get transform dot get world position, very important you don't use local position or it will not work. Now, this is very simple. If t pose dot y is less than zero, we are upside down. So upside down equals true. And we'll add in a little else here. Else upside down is false because we are right side up. So that's really it. We do need to click here on a scene object and add in our objects here. So just click on those, and add your objects, add the text. Now let's make this text work. So we're gonna actually do below this script.text dot text equals ups or string upside down. Little hint for developers here, a little tip. JSON.stringify is how most developers want to convert things. Now this does work for some things in Lens Studio. However, it usually does not work for things in Lens Studio. So don't use that. Trust me, just use string. 
It'll make your life way easier because with JSON to stringify, it usually just kind of returns two brackets like this for no apparent reason. So don't use that, use string. And we're false right now because we're right side up. Now there's no way to rotate the camera in Lens Studio. So we're kind of stuck testing this on our phone. So go ahead up here and click push lens to your device or pair your device, whatever it says, pair your device, and then push your lens. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you guys my phone in one second. All right, I'm now in my phone trapped inside of my computer screen and I'm going to rotate my phone upside down. I'm sorry for the voice lag. Can't really fix it. The screen mirror is delayed, but you just saw it turn to true when my phone went upside down. So it actually goes to true right about here, but I still consider that pretty much upside down. So you can play around and add some like padding to your if statement here, obviously, but I like to just do if it's below zero, it's upside down because it's going to trigger it when it's actually pretty much upside down already. So there's how you do it. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you need any help, drop a comment below. If you have suggestions for new tutorials, drop it, drop it in the comments. Don't forget the script. Pastebin is in the description if you would like to just copy and paste it. Thanks for watching. Peace.